Item Number SCP-5610 Containment Class Keter Special Containment Procedures SCP-5610 events are to be minimally monitored. Meanwhile, a study of all cultures with a particular focus on shame and facades is to be initiated for any relations to SCP-5610. All historical documents related to felines are to be also investigated. Description SCP-5610 is an anomalous entity that is only observable by individuals with a cognitive resistance value of 5.6 and above. Approximately 56% of Japan's population has been found to have an instance of SCP-5610 resting on top of their head. However, no discomfort is felt by the subject these instances are resting on. As a subject's behavior in public becomes more congruent to their behavior in private, the instance of SCP-5610 becomes increasingly detailed. This continues until it produces one of two results. Either the instance would vanish, or in approximately 6% of all cases, it transforms into a non-anomalous cat, genus Felis catus, and jumps off the subject's head. SCP-5610 is prominently featured in haikus. Living authors, when questioned, remember it. Notable ones are translated below. It is humankind to put a cat on the head, to love and hate swords. Oda Nobunaga, 1580. When a child suckles, the cat inside him also does, partnered on rough paths. Basho, 1672. Are we not all cats? On heads of weak, chatting mice. Or hardened tigers. Emiri Takagata, 1923. To the barrack bed, an old cat jumps from my head, meowing with pity. Joe Takamiki. 1944. Bored, Oneko sighs, telling me to cry for him. Yet I say face, tears. Deo Takamiki, 1944. Banging the weak wall, from my rotten though shined crown, a cat skitters through. Aiko Torikatsu, 1976. The cat leaves haughty, my thoughts like leaves on a pond, float in unison. Moeka Horinami, 1980. Reflections of mine, a cat claws back from the top. I smile, sadly now. Haruki Murakami, 1998. Update. Several historical records in Egypt, dating as far back as 3500 BC, have been noted for indicating manifestations of SCP-5610.